T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm reviewing Transformer Studio Series Constructicon Overlord. He is number 66 in the Studio Series. He is a leader class. This looks big. The box feels heavy, but some of that is the extra cardboard in there. He forms Devastator with the other Constructicons. And, uh, yeah, hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's good. This is going to be a standalone video for him. I, to not even drive me myself crazy, I'm not going to even do any comparisons. I'm going to save that for the Devastator review and have all the Constructicons together in robot mode. In vehicle mode, I'm going to have to show the transformations to the limb modes, and then I'm going to combine the daggone thing and review it. So, stay tuned for that. Before you get angry, I show the transformation for Studio Series in both directions, so don't worry. Here's his backdrop. It got all beat up inside of, well, shipping here. It got all smashed, so. I don't know if anybody even noticed this, but the past few Constructicons, I didn't even show the backdrop, because who cares? But anywho... He transforms into this, whatever this is. It just looks like a thing. If you do it right, all six wheels will will roll at least a little bit. But I assumed this was some type of dump truck, Like, but all that's filled in with his arm parts. This doesn't have to be on there, but that is optional storage because it is part of the combined mode. But, yeah. Uh, I like that it transforms into something. I like that it rolls. I guess you're supposed to just look at it from this angle and don't look at it from any other angle. Because if you start turning it this way, it falls apart for me. I, I, I have no clue what this is. It's not even symmetrical back there. I do have this dude in vehicle mode, so that's what Bumblebee looks like next to him. And, you know, transformation is super easy. We're going to start off by bringing this up. And you would have had to take that little piece off anyway. It basically, these two clips just fit into there. Not super tight. You see how easy it, I mean, it ain't going to fall off, but it comes off very easy. But back to this. I brought that up. Now I'm going to unplug this. Slide this over on the pen. And go ahead and lift that up. Now we can separate the legs. Go ahead and rotate these up like that bring this down but bring that up bring that down this way bring that up take this spike bring that up now over here you can bring this up up to the chest area separate this just bring that down Bring this up to here and clip that in. The arms rotate this way. Now this is kind of difficult because it goes in securely, but basically start pulling this out of that peg right there. We can now kind of just leave it like that. These arms right here, we Pull that it's a peg on the inside that you can't see I, I wouldn't have been able to show you maybe I can show you when I go back to robot mode but do that now this can lift up and this arm can come down here same stuff over here like pull away here try to gently to get that out of that peg hole right there kind of bring that around at this angle pull this this way while stretching it out you can rotate the arms that way and now boom he is a friggin robot you put the shoulders how you want bring these out 
has spikes in the knees and well pretty much we're done I have a wish list of things that I'll bring up later after I show you everything about him but basically he is a four arm Decepticon nightmare right here he looks like this and yeah optionally there's another clip on place you can put this into here and have that hanging off his, his back but this thing has more articulation in the arms than I thought it would but I do have a wish list of things that could have been improved or that I would have wanted but let's zoom in on the face on the illustration it looks like the nose glows and the eyes glows but it looks like a bug slash skull just like all the other Michael Bay transformer faces even Bumblebee there's a lot of paint in certain spots like all this gun metal and the red right there red right here fake wheels right here yeah so they're generous with the paint it's mostly for just red and black plastic but these legs are black but they painted all this red in there which is cool and it is cool that they painted the hubcaps which sometimes they cheap out on but let's get into the articulation the head is on a hinge and a ball joint the hinge how good is this i say it's a hinge but that hinge ain't budging so i'm gonna just say ball joint you can make it look up you can make it look left and right and whatnot there are two tabs right here and they got those slots but that i'm pushing as hard as i can and that is not tabbing in it doesn't move unless you make it move but i want to mention that the shoulders can rotate all the way around you still have access to the transformation joint in fact it can come down to here you can bend here at this point right there got a swivel here a double hinge there and this fork for the hand right there a hinge here a hinge here a swivel here a double hinge there so there's a lot of articulation here the hips do that the hips go back they rotate right here on a mushroom pig uh, it seems to be securely in there it's fighting me you do have the knee the foot the leg can straighten out that much and bend that much it like hits up on something there which stops it from getting more than 90 degrees and you get super angle pivot due to the transformation he has basically barely any toes and this wish list he is definitely heavy <laughs> especially back heavy i wish the ankles could rock forward on some type of ratchet for poses and whatnot i mean i haven't had problems getting them into certain menacing poses and whatnot but i also wish it had a wrist rotation right here that would have definitely made these arms better if i could rotate the hand you can rotate the arm but you can't rotate this hand into the direction that you want same deal over here i would have definitely loved the rotation right there i mean it's nice that they gave you like a sort of elbow right here but if they had a rotation right here on the mushroom peg that would have been great the arms would have been spectacular they're good right now but they would have been spectacular and this waist there is enough room in there that they could have gave us some type of waist in here like they definitely could have like wow like messing with it and i haven't taken it to the combined mode it almost looks like it has an ab crunch and i can get this to shift 
back a little bit, but I can't get it to come forward. And it look like looks like it should. Maybe I'll figure it out when I go to combine mode before doing the next video. But yeah. So all in all, it has more articulation than I thought it would. It feels heavy. Doesn't feel too cheap. My only complaint is this. These hips will fall the weight are a little bit too loose, and I don't like that. His height to the top of his head, he is six and a half inches, or almost six and a half inches tall. Coming across, he is 11 inches. But as you're seeing, these knees... The knees could be tighter and the hips could be tighter because, like I said, this thing has a lot of weight to it. But I do like that you can bend the shoulders and bring these arms into a more natural position, but you can't rotate the wrist, which would have definitely helped. Here is the Deluxe Class Earthrise Wheeljack Mold. You probably got Wheeljack. That's how much taller than Will Jack he is. So he's basically Voyager class height, but he's definitely leader class mass wise. But anyhow, let's get to this transformation. I'm going to go ahead and bend that that way and take that off. Shut this, pull that away from there. Just leave that hanging out right here. The arm. I'm going to rotate this, put this into this orientation. There is a pig right here. Pig is right there. There is a pig hole right there. Basically, we need to bend this until you can get that little pig into the pig hole, which is really impossible for me to film. But just just do it it's going to be bent out like that now we need to take the arm bend the wrist back and basically peg that into there meanwhile plugging this into there but before we do that we need to make sure that this is bent down so that this can line up with that and now we can plug that into here Straighten that out, rotate it. Same stuff over here. Bend this this way. Get this up to here. It would have been nice. Wait, let me see. There's a little cutout for this to go in. Let's put that there. And still get the peg into that slot that I said I can't show off that's in there. I did that. Bring this down. Rotate this. Wait, make sure this is actually rotated. Is it right? It doesn't feel right. Bring it up like this. Push the hand back. This pegged itself inside of there. And plug this into that. Rotate this. Bring the arms together. They peg in here. And right here. On the legs, the legs need to basically, the spike needs to come this way, rotate the feet inward this way, get this down here, make sure it's in this orientation right there, get that down all the way down into this orientation. Bring this this way and we can peg that together. And basically at this point, squeeze that up some, move this up and bring the hips up into that orientation. So I was doing this the whole time and didn't realize it, but I'm smashing the butt towards this plastic. 
and that's what that ab crunch is about. Now you can bring this forward, slide this over, peg that into there, and bring this down like that. Make sure that this is still in this orientation. Make sure this stuff is as straight as possible and bring this down. Basically, you're done. If the wheels in the front aren't rolling, these spikes might be down too low. Or you might have to keep bending the front down. Of course, if you push down on there, that's going to roll. But it's good to go. And optionally, you can take this and clip it in right there. So, yeah. I like the robot mode. Wish the hips were tighter. Wish the knees were tighter. Or wish my wish list for articulation was there. And this thing could have been super duper awesome. Right now, I just think it's, it's great. This mode right here, don't like. Transformation, basically easy and simple. It, I had to look at the instructions a little bit for the arms, but it's basically self-explanatory, easy. So, yeah. I like them. I like them more than the last few Constructicons, individual Constructicons that I reviewed. I wish the alt mode looked more like a thing, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make it robot mode accurate and still combine and whatnot so i appreciate what they did to get the robot mode the best they could make it and you know, thank you for watching this until next time t-man 978 out of here click click the videos click the fucking videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click videos baby click click the videos you really should click those videos click that shit